Hello and welcome to SBG Center. With the help of my colleagues from the Technical Support Department, we are going to see in this video how to make a lever arm and hidden calibration. So before we start, let me give you some instructions that you need to follow. First, it's mandatory to perform your calibration in a clean environment for GNSS. That means that you have to be in an open sky to avoid multipath effects. In order to make a good calibration, you need to use a high precision GNSS solution in RTK or PPP mode. Before starting calibration, you need to have your clock aligned and provide at least one approximate location for the main antenna that is providing your position. And last but not least, you need to check if your sensor is initialized in full navigation mode. Now that you have these informations, let's start calibration. We will first measure the lever arm of the main antenna and the second one in order to set it into the configuration menu. However, you could also configure and measure lever arm for the main antenna only. So in this example, we took a meter and calculated the distance between the antenna and the defined reference point of the IMU on the X, Y and Z axes. Then we inserted it into the configuration menu and saved it. Let us move to the lever arm calibration. Now your system is properly configured and ready to operate. Your vehicle speed should be at least at 2.5 meters per second. While you are performing high speed maneuvers, two progress bars will increase. One is about the true hidden calibration and the other is the main lever arm calibration progression. As you can see, we drove by making eight shapes. It allows you to generate dynamics. And that's what we need. Because the more dynamic we can get, the more observation we will have, the faster the calibration will be. And you can also use Kinertia, that is an in-house GNSS and inertial post-processing software developed in SBG systems to re-estimate the lever arms. Thanks for watching this video. See you on the next one.